These two scammed $400,000 in the dirtiest way possible, but their web of deception was unraveled in a way that will leave you absolutely stunned. Stay tuned till the end because this story has a mind-blowing plot twist. Our story begins in 2017 when a young woman called Caitlin McClure found herself stranded on a desolate road with an empty gas tank. The nearest gas station was miles away and the darkness outside was so intense that venturing out of her vehicle was not an option. To make matters worse, she had no cash on hand to get gas. Caitlin was then suddenly approached by a homeless man sitting on the side of the road, and instead of asking her for money, he offered help. According to Caitlin, this homeless man walked 20 minutes to the gas station and back, buying her a gallon of fuel with his last $20. His selflessness touched Caitlin, and upon telling her boyfriend Mark D'Amico about him, they decided to go look for the guy. This is when they got to know his full story. The homeless man was called Johnny Bobbitt, an army veteran who had lost everything and ended up on the streets of the city with nothing to his name. Johnny also admitted that he had a drug addiction, but desperately wanted to go to rehab. Caitlin and Mark started frequently visiting Bobbitt to supply him with food and whatever money they could spare. They would visit so often that Caitlin, Mark, and Johnny became good friends. The couple got to know Bobbitt for who he really is, a genuinely nice person that had everything taken away from him and needed urgent help to treat his drug addiction. They admired his willingness to turn his life around. He wanted to get clean, to get back on his feet and find a job. All this guy wanted was a normal life. Caitlin then decided to launch a GoFundMe campaign to fund Johnny's rehab and help him get a place to live in. As all you know, GoFundMe is a website that allows do-gooders to donate to people in need. Although most of the campaigns on GoFundMe are for medical cases, anyone can launch a campaign for literally any reason. You simply create one and people have the complete freedom to support it or not. Just like you have the complete freedom to drop a like on this video and subscribe to our channel. Seriously, it would help us a lot. So Caitlin launches this campaign and tells the story of Johnny Bobbitt, the marine vet who ended up on the streets with a drug addiction and no money for food, and how he helped her get her car running after buying her fuel with his last $20. The goal was a mere 10,000 to help him get back on his feet, yet the amount of support they received was unimaginable. And before you know it, they had raised $400,000 from more than 14,000 empathizers around the globe. At the time, that was the biggest campaign in GoFundMe's history. After deducting the website's cut and other fees, Johnny went from having nothing to $360,000 in only a couple of months. The money was transferred to Caitlin's bank account and Mark and her decided to open a trust fund for Johnny Bobbitt to receive the money in increments so he can get back on his feet after getting rid of his drug addiction. Johnny looked healthier than ever. He was finally back on track to having a normal life and looked genuinely happy. Caitlin and Mark bought him a trailer in which he could live on their property. The couple promised to turn Bobbitt's life around, and it looked like they really did. The trio would do multiple interviews on TV, retelling Johnny's story and encouraging others to help out strangers whenever they could. Faith in humanity restored, right? Well, nothing is as good as it seems. After a while, it became obvious that it was not just Bobbitt's life that had changed. Caitlin and Mark's lives started changing as well. The pair suddenly started going on numerous vacations, flying all over the world at least once a month, buying new cars, and frequenting Las Vegas like they lived there. Apparently, our friend Mark also had his own addictions, and whenever you'd lose him, you'd find him at the nearest casino. The pair were still helping out Bobbitt. However, they were spending unreasonable amounts of money as if they just won the lottery. Johnny, now being their friend and living on their property, noticed the strange new spending habits of the pair and decided to speak out. He claimed that the couple only gave him $75,000 and were spending the rest as if the money was theirs. Their friendship quickly crumbled into distrust. After being criticized for not sharing the money with Johnny, Mark D'Amico addressed the situation publicly and claimed the reason for holding it is that Johnny Bobbitt was still hooked on drugs. Mark claimed that Bobbitt lied to them about his progress and was secretly still using. Things were about to get ugly. In 2018, Johnny Bobbitt filed a lawsuit against Caitlin and Mark, demanding that the money be taken away from them because he is certain that they had wasted more than half of the $360,000. After being asked to provide account statements to check the truth behind Johnny's claims, it appeared that Caitlin and Mark did not spend half the money. In fact, they'd spent all of it. 
In only eight months, the couple somehow managed to spend $300,000. This money was donated by over 14,000 donors from around the world for Johnny to have a better life. But the couple thought, hmm, might as well spend it all on vacations and gambling trips. This caused huge public outrage. The majority of people now wanted their money back and Caitlin and Mark were in a lot of legal trouble. No one, however, was expecting the twist that was about to unfold. In 2019, Caitlin and Mark were found guilty along with Johnny Bobbitt. During the investigation, the authorities checked all communications of the trio with their friends and relatives, and it was revealed that they faked the entire story. The couple had known Johnny for a while, and they decided to take advantage of his situation for their own benefit. The three of them had planned this from the start. Portray Johnny as a nice homeless man that deserves a new life, create a GoFundMe campaign, and split whatever money they get. The only reason they got caught was because the couple did not hold their part of the deal and did not allow Johnny access to his half of the $360,000. If they did, no one would have suspected a thing. Caitlin and Mark have been sentenced to three and five years of prison respectively. Johnny Bobbitt, however, will not be serving any prison time, but was sentenced to three years of probation instead. If you did enjoy this video, make sure to drop a like and subscribe for more crazy stories from around the world.